Hello everybody, welcome back to more Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate with me, Flick, and today is the day, I, I think this might be the finale to the high rank storyline, I'm not sure. I also don't know if it keeps on going into a G rank story or not, but today we're going to take on the Kshaladiora in the battle quarters, so off we go. There's no time for prancing, now it's serious. Also, the second Y stone I got at the end of the last part to fight the Apex Syringios, it got taken away from me afterwards because it was a prototype, so I'm hoping that doing this unlocks it permanently because I want it. <laughs> I need it. But anyway. Oh, do I have to eat first? I'm going to assume I do, so let's just do this. Because it's not actually a hunt, we're just walking next door. So, let's, I'm going to have to use another voucher because of the distinct lack of fresh food. Uh, yeah. No time for cutscenes, cat. And we'll see what happens. Alright, Caravaneer. Set the scene for us. You are a living wonder, no matter what danger the world casts you into, and no matter what monsters, monster fate pits you against. Well, you always come home in one piece, don't you, Kindred Hunter? The way I reckon, the world ought to take a leaf out of your book. After all, we we all face our hurdles. And by we, I don't just mean people. Villages, towns, entire kingdoms, even history as a whole hits bumps in the road. But if we make it past those hurdles, a sweet reward is waiting. What kind of reward? Well, I suppose you have to clear the hurdles to find out, har har. And on that note, I'd say it's high time we struck out for the battle quarters. The place was built with the express purpose of sending invading monsters running straight back to the hills. Once the battle begins, the central commons area gets turned into a makeshift base camp. Then hunters head through this gate to stop the monsters in their tracks before they get inside. Let's go get it done, then. Ready to drive off the Kshaldiora? Yes, I am. Alright, see you on the other side of that metaphorical hurdle. And remember, you're the one to get it done. He keeps saying that. Gshalak Showdown. <laughs> That's a good name. I like that name. Oh, yeah, they've blocked off the stairs to the place. Everyone's gone home. Oh, apart from him. Oh, and him. Alright, so there's where the bed is. Interesting. Uh, that's the door to... where was that? I'm not actually sure where that other camera angle was. Nope. Well, good hunter, this is it. You will find these hunters in Area 3 on your map. Okay. Meet up with them as soon as possible. Take this Proto Defense Mark... Proto Dense Marco with you. You will need this special dragon fuel in order to fire the demolisher cannon. Well, let's get started. Good luck! This is a different type of Kshala Deora. Also, it just roared in the other room. It's red on the bottom screen. The normal Kshala Deora was like grey and stuff. Alright, interesting. I'm glad I ate food first. Oh, we get stuff! All oh, the stuff! What are these? Ooh, in case I die. Okay, I'll take those. I'll take the map as well, because screw you, that's why. Flash bomb I'll take. Poison I will definitely take. So, area 3 on my map. The map for this area is very strange. So I can get straight to Area 3 by going through this gate, but apparently there's a side door as well. Into an Area 2? Ah, either way, I think it wants me to... Oh yeah, down there. I'll go where it wants me to go though, Area 3. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that was the map on the screen there. Yeah, that's a unique Shaladiora then. Definitely not the same as the ones I fought before. Yeah, you take that. I wonder if they're actually going to be in the fight with me. That'd be very interesting. That'd be a first, as far as I'm aware, if they are. It's new music as well. It's a fight seriously just starting like that. Oh, he is here! You made it back, I knew you would. Alright everyone, the star of the show has arrived. What do you mean? I've been here like forever. I'm just pulling your chain, glad you made it. Now that the whole team is assembled, it's time to go on the offensive. Come friend, there's no hunter I'd rather have fighting at my side. There you are, ready to do this thing? I've got your back. Tell me what I'm supposed to be doing though, he's, if he's in the air that high, I can't fight him. I will get started on activating the weaponry. Once it's ready to use, I will give you the signal. The professor gave me this life powder, I'm saving it for the exact right moment. Let me tell you about the track cannon while well, I have the chance. Yeah, it's not like there's anything dangerous in front of us or anything. The track cannon is a special weapon which can move along the tracks, load with cannon ammo, 
then fire repeatedly once you have it where you want it. To move it, hit the switches on the side of the turret. The right switch moves it to the right, yeah, okay. To load, get off the turret and use the holes on either side. To fire, hit the switch in the middle of the cannon platform. You can procure cannon ammo from the weapon for the weapon from three stockpiles near where the track cannon stops. If you keep collecting ammo from the stockpile, it will eventually run out. However, if you wait a little while, it will be replenished. Move between three stockpiles to load and fire efficiently, and the track cannon will prove devastating. My pupil is loading the weapon as we speak. I know you will make it the most of it together. Go ahead, try moving it now so you can attack from another position. Alright, so he wants me to move it to either the left or the right. Um, I'm left inclined, so we're going left. That's where... Wait, I'll move with you. Okay, well, you got me hit. Thanks, buddy. Here we go. Oh, so Maya's pissed off at something. Oh, that was a waste. That's a plus. I should just be using potions. Also, that didn't actually get used, so that's kind of fantastic. Okay. Now what? Are we loading it? I love that there's other hunters, like AI hunters, in the fight with me. Look, the gunner's actually firing. They're actually doing things. Okay, so there's three cannons in it. If I fire right now, I'll hit him. I'm going to test. He moved. Also, he's on the ground, so right now I could... Oh, wait, no, he's still flying. Can I flash bomb you? Perhaps. Yes, I can. Time to get you poisoned. Oh, I would be bouncing with this. Get him poisoned. Ow. Well, actually, that didn't really hurt at all. Okay. That hurt a little bit more, but actually not as much. Don't you dare go back into there. I forbid it. I should have used the poison knives there. Almost like a guarantee. Oh, he's poisoned. Excellent. Right, I'll go back to loading the cannon now. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. There should be enough ammo. Fire the track cannon. Yes, sir. I'm pretty sure that didn't hit him, but okay. I guess I should have tried to lure him first, but how the hell am I supposed to get him in position? If anything, I should be able to tell my cats. Oh. Nearly. Stop it. Stop it. C can you hit him in the air, actually? Let me quickly test that. Nah, it's deliberately pointing at the ground. I have to get him on the ground here. Actually, if I was to throw a flash bomb right now, he'd be in the perfect position to get hit. Oh, Kishala Deora. Oh, I tried to throw the flash bomb, but he was doing an attack. He is in the perfect position. Are you loading one more cannonball? Ah, screw it, just now. That looks like it's missing as well. Uh, apparently that wasn't a uh, mount, but okay. At least you're poisoned. At least Ace Commander is doing something as well. You're actually very small for a Kishaladora, I think. You're definitely different, though. Uh, get out of there, man. Get out of there. I'm stuck. There we are. Alright. See, how am I supposed to lure him to where I need to be, or where he needs to be? Like, he needs to stand here, I can tell now. Look, so if he was to stand here, then fine, I'd be able to... Oh. I think the Ace Commander was firing it. No fire it, you fool! No fire it! He fired it when I was there. I think he's secretly trying to kill me. I think all the same we've actually been rivals, and this is his chance to kill me. All that talk of friendship was BS. At least these gunners constantly firing at him. Oh, poison wore off. Let's... Ooh. Alright, we traded blows. Congratulations. Get poisoned upon. Yeah. That didn't poison him, did it? Also, where was my Superman dive? I'm supposed to Superman dive in every direction. Constitution plus two is a little bit finicky sometimes. Still not poisoned. Fire the track cannon! No, don't fire it, you fool, until he's here! You really are trying to get me killed. Hello there. I'm not going to be able to reach you with a knife from that distance, I don't think. Nope. 
Oh wait, no, I think I saw blood. Right, the Ace Commander is still loading up. I wish there was a timer on the screen or something if he's just going to fire it when it's full. Follow me over here. I might as well just blast those dragon wings are too strong. Oh, he's turned... Oh, he... damn it. Alright, poison him. Poison him. Also, fight him right here. Fight me here if you've got the balls. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Ace Commander, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. If you just waited... I might as well try and help her poison him, I suppose. It takes him like a minute, I think, to get it ready to fire. He is also poisoned, so there goes the black flames. Something just got broken by the gunner there as well. Sit still, will you? Yeah, I was rolling, but okay. It's a good job you aren't doing much damage. Thank you, cats. Assuming you don't get interrupted. Poisoned again? Yeah. That would have been black flames there if he wasn't. Oh, don't waste your time, Commander. I wish he wasn't in control of the gun. Yeah, move to a different angle. That's going to help. Look, fight me here, Kishala Deora. Fight me here, though. Yeah, right here. Look, cats, over here. Oh, the cats are out of the fight, actually, so this is perfect. I want to see this thing actually hit you once. This would be much easier to coordinate with players. Right here. Right here. He's going to be ready to fire in a second. Chaladora! Over here, though. Oh, actually, no, that's what they could tie it to. If I press signal, then he fires. That would be such an easy way to do it. Why didn't they do that? Fire. Ah. Charge me. Right, fire. Come on, it must be about time. Fire. Yeah, fire on that whirlwind. Yeah, he's not over there, though. You just waste all the ammo again. Oh right, I'm tiring myself out by accident. He's almost in position. Ah, oh, it's a waste of my time. I could try moving him to the far side, actually. I should have just tried killing him. Is the gunner not trying to poison him anymore? Oh, you know, she is, she is. Get poisoned! Maybe the... I don't know, it won't trigger the next phase unless I deliberately move. So actually, let's go move the stupid thing. Oh, wait. Let's try and get him one last time before that. Yes, come on, fire! Fire right now, fire! The Dragonair is ready to use. It's positioned on the south wall. Just time it just right. I'll signal to guide you to the switch's location. Yeah, I know where it is. Did he fire? Because that would have been the perfect time for him. Uh, did Ace Commander move without me at some point? You! He really is trying to kill me. Over here, Kishaladora. Is he in front of the Dragonator there? I'm going to assume he is. Uh, maybe. Yeah, clipped his wing. I don't know if it has to hit him on f like fully to do damage or not. Get on. He's commander, though. Get on, though. I'm going to move the thing. Yay, oi. Yes, I know. Get over here. Is that him? Oh, he's pissed about it. Also, the cats are levitating in midair. 
Ready, the demolisher has been activated. Good work. The movement, uh, the moment we've all been waiting for is upon us. It's time to put our new weapon to work. Head to the rise in the north. I will lower the ladder. Demolisher, now how I have waited for this. The town's folk put so much work into this. It's going to be so radalos. Gunner, can you provide cover fire? Leave it to me. I'll use the ballista. To reach the northern rise, you can take either ride the track cannon or head for I'll take the track cannon if you don't mind. Right, signal me. Let me head over to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over there. Oh, it's pointing me to the ladder. I think we're being followed. Oh yeah, he's pissed. <laughs> Doesn't he have to stand in a specific place for this bloody thing to work though? Probably the big brown mark, if I had to guess. The demolisher requires a cooldown period after each use. Make sure you aim carefully. Gunner, how are we doing? I've got it covered. I'll use the ballister to restrain it. To fire a demolisher, hit the switch on the track cannon platform. Make sure you have the proto-dense Marco I gave you ready to use. Is it ensnared now? Also, where is the item? Oh, there it is. I don't see it being restrained. Oh, she's on it right now, actually. Where's the switch up to hit? Oh, is it just the main... Oh, it's the main switch, I see. Uh, the thingy's coming to get us. <laughs> Go after the gunner. So much for the gunner restraining it, might I add. I can't help but feel like if I'd just fought it straight up, this would have been over. <laughs> well, let's work out how to work the gimmicks. I mean, that's in position. Yes, there we are. Got it. Target restrained. Ready to hit it with the demolisher. This is it. I'm on pins and needleberries. Demolisher is powered by the proto-dense Marco I gave you earlier. Select it, and then... Yeah, 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 I know. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's... Right. Let's do it. I want to see it. Let me do it. Oh, here it comes. Did it one-shot it? Apparently so. No, it's still alive. It's it's clearly moving. Uh oh. I could have done that, I just chose not to. Oh, you still can't kill it! Yeah, I can't help but feel if I just focused on using the poison weapon, although maybe that way, maybe it was literally invincible until the phases of the fight happened, so. It's better I played along, but the ace commander firing the gun whenever he felt like it, like it rather, meant that it missed every single time. So, they should have changed how that worked. Just let me press signal, that's all it would have been, you know. Oh, we're getting credits. <laughs> Interesting. As I said, I thought that was the finale to the high rank story. Whether or not there's an offline G rank story, I have no idea. I hope so. We have already seen one credit sequence, of course, at the end of low rank. Still, let's enjoy this. I'll be quiet and let it happen. Well, I said it'd be quiet, but they're not speaking any language that's translatable, so... Is he leaving? 
Agurisa. Sarina. Luz. Oh, isn't that nice? The passing of the torch. Now to get the Ace Commander killed so I can get that blade. You realise you didn't actually do your job, right? Because the monster lived and he'll be back, probably. No? Okay then. He walks like a lady. <laughs> so that's where it would have said 4G. So that was the new story added on top of the base game. But is there more? More importantly, can I fast forward to credits? Although there is very nice art on the bottom screen currently. Doesn't look like I can fast forward it. No. Well, we'll just have to enjoy it. The series isn't over even if that is all there is. To, I mean, for a start, after you finish the story, there's usually like just optional hard hunts thrown in. We've got online stuff still to do. There's at least one more month of... Pardon me, there's one more month of DLC coming. Eventually we will run out of stuff to do, but then of course there's Monster Hunter Cross to look forward to. What is this on the lower screen? I think it's just a map. It's like a Japanese style art. If you're familiar with the loading screen map in Freedom Unite, it's a 4U version of that, showing all the areas of this game. Still. That might also mean that there's a bunch of NPCs to talk to after this. I'm hoping that the other Y stone appears. Because I need it. Eating Coal Limited. I must admit, I prefer the, the high rank credits that were in 3U because it was that cutscene involving Cha Cha and Kyumba like, getting messed, over, messed up by like a Rathalos and Cha Cha was riding a Great Jaggy at one point for some reason. It was madness. Or was it Kyumba that was writing it? I can't remember now. It was good though. Where's the person who designed the Ace Commander's AI for that fight? Because you're going on my list. I just realised the localization team and whatnot and some other miscellaneous companies are only getting shown on the lower screen. That's a shame. Well, that might be it. Oh, we're just on to the stereotypical Monster Hunter music now. <laughs> on the lower screen it looks like three palicos just watching the top screen as a cinema type thing. Interesting. And that's just Ace Palico kicking everyone's ass apparently. Solo, may I add, which is impossible. Hit the camera. Just wait until you have to solo Dalmadur. <laughs> the cats cheer for him every time he wins. Thought he found help. In fact, isn't that the design of Victor? So it's almost like it's telling the story, but as if I wasn't there. So the cat did everything. I think this is roughly the order stuff got introduced in. Oh yeah, there's the Monster Hunters and Zamtros. It is. It's telling stories if I didn't do it and the Ace Hunter did everything. Typical lying palicos. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You stole Gormagala. Whatever. Well, actually, the Ace Palico kind of did. Zenogre. Poor old Zenogre gonna get beaten up. <laughs> he runs off real quick. Oh, Celtis and Celtis Queen. Oh, 
Hello, Rathalos. Goodbye, Rathalos. <laughs> oh, I wonder what that was for a second there, because it was very pale green. It was Shaguru Magala. <laughs> Darren Moran? Yeah, sure. How are you even going to beat it? You're just going to bounce on it. Yeah, just, just run while you can. Oh, Poogie's on the lower screen as well. Yeah, just, just run. Hey, Brachdose looks good like that. Poogie's gone from the lower screen again. Teostra, I've still only fought one of them. I've got an urgent high rank one I really should get around to doing, but I don't like him. I also don't like him, assuming that's a Cantor. And then it'll be Yukan loss? Mm, no. Oh, Rajang. Then Yukan loss. Presumably. Yeah. No? No, not in that map, it won't be. Oh, Dalamadur. Okay. Yeah, that's how it happened. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that it? And there's the standard Monsanto music. Nope, there's more apparently. Oh, Neil Gortz, I know him. He helped me out with copyright claims from illegitimate sources. Is that Monoblos or is that Diablos? No, I had only. Well, it's hard to tell if it was one horn or two because it was side on. No, that's Diablos. Yeah, different color, uh, different shape of horn, rather. Much more demonic on the Diablos, whereas it's just a straight horn on the Mono. Steve, obviously. Goodbye. That's Kshaladiora. The type faces included here in are solely developed by Dina something. Special collaboration with Square Enix, that only just happened, so I'm glad I only saw that now. Uh, there's a Palico dress like this, Commander, and... Oh, God. It's like the nightmare version of the world. They're all cats. This is terrifying. Why would you end on such a bad note? Get this off my screen immediately. There's also two Poogies, like, making love on the bottom, bottom screen. End. End. <laughs> You're welcome, but end. Thank you. You did a good job, Capcom. One of your best games, I would say. This is back in the guild hall. Why does it feel like I've seen this cutscene? I have a feeling it was used as one of the trailers for 4G. <laughs> Hooray! We didn't suck or die! Ace Palico. Or just wearing the same gear, I guess. Oh yeah, this is the this is the advertisement they used for 4G. And that's the original intro to 4U. Yeah, they're mixing the two together. Yeah, that set of hunters fighting with the Diablos then they get jumped by Steve. That was what advertised 4G. Yeah, and the one where it's Gormagala, that's the intro to this one that plays before you press start. <laughs> they all suck. <laughs> Is that to imply there's still more to do? Absolutely save progress. 
So I guess we'll do a quick run around the villages, although I imagine I still have to do some prerequisite hunts. Where will it put us anyway? Uh, Professor, I want my Y stone, like right now. There's a bunch of people to talk to. What's up, how's hunts? Me, oh, you know me, I'm always in a good mood, even when you take home all the honour and glory again, which is fine. So who was your mentor? That's what I'd like to know. Basically the entire YouTube comment section of my 3U series. Mine's the commander, of course. I'd fall him to the ends of the earth, even if he told me not so. I just hang in there a few paces back. If I ever have a pupil someday, I'm going to tell him or her all about how the awesome, how awesome the commander is, but he said awesome in a stupid way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I may have found my answer, some inkling of why my mentor saved me that day. Thank you, friend, for the clarity. Again, I am in your debt. Because you saved the newbie in the same way. Thank you. We could not done on could not have done any of this without you. Both you and your caravan have my heartfelt thanks. My old friend the Master of Defence must be at his new post by now. He was never one to sit still. I envy him. He can walk into any town with naught but a shirt on his back and be part of the woodwork a day later. Myself, I am far too busy with my hunting and science to take on a pupil, but him... I think he was put in this world to be a shepherd, to gather people together to look after and nurture them. He's a marvel of a fellow, I hope to see him again soon. In the meantime, however, I shall occupy myself with other duties. Okay. Did you have a gander at that kindred hunter? A big beautiful blue sky. This here is Dundorma showing her true colours and she owes it all to you and the ace hunters. All this has led me to a realisation. Life is... something was a pain in the hide, was that? Did he just say? Just making it from day to day is a good thing, make no mistake, but it takes real effort. You don't get to cruise through life just eating and sleeping and drinking and chitting and laughing. Though I do try. Our life is built on its own complexities, and that's a fine thing. Anyway, the Elder Hall and the Guild wanted you to have this. See the inscription to Dundorma's Brave Defender, whose achievements will be the cornerstone of great things. Here you go, it's yours. This will be an achievement related thing. Heck, you probably changed my afterlife. Oh, that's freaky. Oh, or just 10,000 any. Wow, that'll pay for like a tenth of an item. Thanks so much. Like, literally. You did it, the skies have cleared. I don't actually care what you've got to say, Guildmar. Thank you. <laughs> it was very succinct, although. Hang on, what? Huh? Haven't you heard? Well, then, allow me to make your day. You've been given clearance to take on G rank expeditions. Oh, that actually is good news. If you want to give them go, just open up the world map. Alright, let's have a little look at that. That'll make a new icon up here. Yeah, it's yellow. You can't see it, but just take my word for it. It's there. Apparently, there's still someone to talk to here. Um. No. You? Now the skies... Oh, how this, I've missed the skies, or whatever she said. It's thanks to your fine work that we pulled the mission off. My mentor had to move on, but I bet my Zenny he's thinking of ways to defend wherever he winds up next. Some people know... I bet he turns up and cross. They're made to do one thing, and they charge on through life doing it. He's fine, etc. Yeah, I, I don't care. You did it, sir! Can you believe it? I can. I was there. So were you. I mean, they're all finding lovely ways to say well done, but, you know. Since my grandfather's generation, mine has been a family of wanderers. To join forces like this and protect something to unite behind a single shared purpose, I must confess the sensation is new to me. Again, you have enriched my life, and for that you have my gratitude. I don't like the y -Kun, so just go away. There is still people to talk to, though, apparently. Including one over... Oh, apparently now the professor does have something to say. Oh, hello! Welcome to the Lyceum. I've got news today. We've had a breakthrough in our research. We figured out how to power up Y stones. With these, you should be able to return frenzied monsters to, tom to normal easier than ever. Do I have to... Oh, it's automatically went to level 2, eh? How do I get that other one? The one for Apex monsters? I need it! Uh, apparently there's still someone to talk to here. Oh. Nice weather! Yeah, I don't like you. <laughs> Advanced Prickly Pear. I'm going to be straight with you. This is a quest I took up originally, but something came up and I need it taken care of. What's Prickly Pear? That rings a bell from online, but I can't remember. Do I have to speak to the Guildmarm again now, or...? There is a... there's a... oh, it's the cook, I bet. Yeah. You are a mystery hunter. I have a pussycat like you managed to chase off the Kshaladur. I will never know. Maybe if you'd watch the fight instead of hiding behind your... Never mind, I won't be mean to the cat. Apparently there is someone in here to talk to. Then we'll have a quick look around the towns, and then that'll do it. There will be more to do, obviously. I'm going to have to do some catch-up on those other hunts. There's someone over here, apparently. 
before I say this, you have to understand I'm just a messenger. You know who has a job for you. Stop, don't try to guess who it is for your own safety and mine. Oh no, it's going to be a goddamn egg. Oh, <laughs> oh what are you going to make me do now? I want to go see this. I have to go see. I have to. You know who, it's that goddamn Cathar guy. The, the, the egg don or whatever he was called. You bastard. You've given me something G-ranked that's egg related, haven't you? see. Yeah, 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 just let me see. Ten star hunts. So, Silver Sovereign, where did that appear from? Did that just appear for fun? Oh, it's from the Waikun. Okay. I don't really want to fight a silver one by myself, although I'm using a good set for it. Deliver two wyvern eggs from the dunes during the day. I wonder what monster will be hunting me in that one. Ugh. And prickly pear. Oh, Stygian's an ogre and Steve, but they're frenzied. Frozen seaway. That's pretty scary. Any new nine stars? No, that was there before. That was there before. Eight star, we've still got to do the hero in the sandy spear, of course, which is the best hunt ever. And hunt a thons and ogre. Alright, so there's nothing left to talk to here. Let's quickly go to Cathar. I don't think there'll be anything else in the villages yet. I am going to need to clear the other hunts probably, yeah. But that looks like where it's going to be. So actually, I will look off camera. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this bit of a long one. And next time we will be doing the co-op night, I believe. So look forward to that. However, I'm not looking forward to fighting an Apex monster without that other stone. I'm going to have to work out how you actually earn that. I'll go ask now, actually. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more, and ta-ta for now.